Hey, it's Mikey from Rock and K. Hey, so we got another project going on today. So behind me over here, we had a chicken coop. And you can see that that coop is missing a door. I took that door off of the chicken coop because the chicken coop's going away here in the next couple of days and brought it up to the to the wood shop and trimmed the edges off the door so it was a nice flat square slab panel of a door. And right now Mrs. K is prepping the door so that we can go ahead and hang it. We went and bought a um, sliding barn door rail kit for the door because where she wants to put it, she wants the sliding door. So we went ahead and um, prepped it for that. And right now, uh, she was over here getting the door ready. We have to start putting the hardware kit on it and stuff like that. So let's flip you around and show you what the door looks like. So here's the door. Like I said, we, pull, we pulled it off the chicken coop. And the door used to have edges on it. For inside the door frame so we went ahead and we ran it on the on the saw and pulled all the the edges off the door so that it's nothing but a square slab and now she wants to upcycle it and put it onto the back of the barn where we put those water storage tanks so one of the first steps we'll have to do is take these rollers and we'll mount them up on the top of the door. And so we'll get that done and then we'll have to take it down to where we're, we're mounting it. And we'll put the rail that goes across the top and I'll show you that when we get down there. And then, uh, yeah, then we'll hang it up. And the door is gonna be a little short, so we're gonna hang it first and then we're gonna measure how much uh, gap we have on the bottom and such. And then we're gonna add to the bottom of the door in a big uh, blank slab this way. It uh, meets the floor, but also we're going to put a rubber strip inside the the wood that we put on the door to kind of keep uh, the, the drafts and the critters and stuff like that out. So uh, we'll get going and we'll get these um, these rails with the the hooks with the with the wheels on it. We'll get them put on the door, and yeah. So according to the kit, the door is supposed to be up to 45 uh, millimeters. We're a little bit longer than that. So you can see there's a little bit of a difference in the bolts. Because if I put this bolt in here, it's not going to come all the way through. You can see it sits quite flush. But then with the other bolt that I bought, it sticks out enough that we're able to install all the hardware. So hardware's coming up next.
so folks, there's the old door that was actually up there, and you can see it was nothing but particle board, and it got wet and all that stuff. And yeah, I don't know what they were thinking when they did it with particle board, because I mean, obviously, it's not going to stand up to the water. But here's the actual opening from the outside. And as we come down inside, this is where our water storage and everything is. And this is where I keep the tractor and all that for right now. Um, this is a work in progress. We bought the, the property and there was a lot of stuff that came with the property that just, you know, they, they sold the property as is. So we ended up with all kinds of stuff. So... We're, it's a work in progress, and yeah, here you can see, here's the opening. So next we have to put the, the flat metal rail up on the wall. You can see where we removed the old rail, and there's a bit of a slope here. So we're going to actually correct that later on, and it works out good because there's actually a gutter drain sitting right there. And with that gutter drain, what the plan would be is to put a trench here, cut the cement and then put put a drain that goes down that that drain because that gutter isn't hooked up anymore and if you look at my rain catchment system you'll see where I replace this piece of gutter and then all this run of gutter is going to be replaced and then we'll tie it all in together so that there is no drop on this in this middle area because they built this black area was first and then they added on they added that on so we're in the process of trying to redo the roof, redo the gutters, uh, redo all the outside, the, all the stucco on the outside, or the puts as the Germans call it, and then get it painted. So we're going to actually switch colors uh, and go from this cream color, we're thinking, to a, like a light gray. So, And then what we also had to do is right here, we, had, we replaced one window already on this lower barn. And you can see where all the old windows came out and all that. And that was all the crap that was in this barn that we've already taken out. And we're getting a container to get rid of all of that. But this whole area has a nice cement area. And then you got Mrs. K's uh, grape arbor and then the garden. So it comes with a fabulous view out back here. So you can see why we want to make this a little more accessible and a little more usable. And so like that old chicken coop will go and the garden will go the whole length of that. So anyway, back to the back to this door. So we're going to get this these rails on, get this door hung. Like I said, we'll we'll uh, put the rails on the wall, then get the door hung. The door is going to be a little short, but that's like I was saying earlier, we're going to add to the bottom of it so that. It does meet the ground because we are up upcycling this door. This door was off that ch that old chicken coop, so ain't nothing to do but to do it. So we'll get a little bit better lighting and then uh, we'll get this rail on. So now I'm going to go through them and I add some washers behind. I think I'm going to need at least two washers behind each one because the door is a little thicker than the uh, 
what it's designed for. The, it was designed for up to a 45 millimeter door and ours is actually like 55 millimeter. So I'm going to try to get about five millimeters because we only need half the thickness. I get about five millimeters with a couple of washers just to move this out just a little bit. So that's what you'll see me doing is throwing extra washers in. And then if you look in behind there, you can see there's that silver washers that give us that extra five millimeters. So hopefully that's enough. But it looks like she's pretty good. So next, yeah, hang the door. So rail is done. Now let's see how it works. So we'll put her up on the rail. Like so. Look at that. Perfect. There's a little tab that'll go at the bottom to keep the door straight. And if you look, it's pretty close, pretty close to the wall. That those washers worked out pretty dang good. So we'll go ahead and smooth as silk. Put the, yeah, it's smooth as silk. We'll put the stops on here so that it stops the door right about there so that when we put our tab here on the floor to hold the door it keeps the door in and it always stays engaged in the door so we'll put a piece of wood at the bottom down here and we'll use the saw and cut a groove in it and there's a plastic tab that sits on the floor and it'll keep this door right there where it's always always straight plus that's outside, so the wind is going to blow on this door. We don't want this door doing this with the wind. So that tab, that's what that job is for that tab in the bottom, is to stop the wind from being able to blow that. And then when it comes to this side, you can see, I mean, farmers do what farmers do. And when they, when they built this wall, this wall is just off of plumb. So you can see there's a little bit of a gap. So the way we'll probably remedy that is we'll get some quarter round and we'll put some quarter round and mount it on the wall so that when the door is all the way closed, it stays weather tight so that it just runs right up against here. So something you'll notice when we when we upcycled this door, this is where the door handle used to go. So there was the regular door handle for a door. So what we did was we went on Amazon and we found these pocket door handles. And then all I did was I took the router and I routed it out and then put the handle in, in its place. We had to go ahead and plug up the hole on the other side because there was the hole for all the, the lock and everything. But what we did was we just cut a piece of wood to the size, knocked it in there, did a little bit of uh, wood putty and stuff and cleaned that up. Yeah, so, you can still see a little bit of it. Like yeah, right you can here. see a little bit of the wood putty right here. But it looks pretty good. I think it looks great, and it's smooth as glass. I mean, close it. Let's look, look at smooth look at as glass. That is such a difference. And it worked out perfect that the window, yeah, is actually 
you know, not so it, it, it still has the opening. Yeah. It's still so, in the, in the I mean, blocks. come on around to the outside and let's, let's see what it looks like from the outside. So from the outside, yeah, that looks, oh, that looks awesome. Looks pretty good. Okay, like I, I said, folks, like, we'll uh, have to fix the bottom a little bit and you can even see the winds blowing it. Yeah. So once we get that bottom fixed in the tab, the, the door will stay real stable. Yeah, you can see the yeah, that's um, so, I'm more than happy. That looks amazing. I think it turned out I think it turned out okay. And we didn't have to pay for it. And yeah, we upcycled that door. So yep. Now what we'll do is we have to put a stop up here on the rail yes. so that the door doesn't just Oh, go it slides off right the, off. Right off. off the it was the like, rail. We don't need one on that end because, of course, it's going to hit the wall. Yeah. So yeah. that's next. And that moves so smooth compared to... As Murphy Law would have it, we need to put it on this side of the bolt, of this bolt. So we're going to have to take this bolt out and slide it on the rail. So that we can stop the door in the right place. So we got to take that bolt out. It's raining again. Yep, we're getting more rain, which is a good thing. We got those those uh, rain barrels filled up for you know for us because we had gotten so much rain in the last couple of days. So now we have a whole four thousand liters of water. There's a video about that. You can you guys can can uh, All right. go to the channel and if you look. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tighten that right there because right? we're stopping the door at the edge of the wall here instead of letting it slide all the way back mostly because we're limited on space in the barn we want to preserve as much space as possible so now he has to use this little handy dandy allen wrench which came with it that came with the kit and we'll tighten these little allen screws right here and we did get this kit this rail kit off of amazon i'll put a i'll put a link in the description so you guys if any of you guys want to do a, a sliding door like this it's really um, good material it's all hardware i'm but, impressed you know, and it's really, really, really smooth. Yeah, it's all steel. There's very little. Oh, I haven't seen any plastic. Well, the pla the wheels themselves are plastic, but they have bearings in them. And then everything else has been steel. Even the little spacers for off the wall. Yeah. Those those are steel. So, uh, you know, it's it's a pretty good quality. And it was not expensive. So we'll get those nice and tight. Good and tight. Uh, Germany. But anyway. Right. And. Sweet, no more grease. Yeah, lightning. so those are actually rubber bumpers, so it doesn't hit real solid. Nice. And now we don't have to worry about falling off the end of the yeah. end of the rail. So even if somebody's a little aggressive, look at that. Perfect. Okay, so I think I think this door's done, except well, for the bottom. We have to do the so bottom. we'll bring you back when we do the bottom. Uh, we're we're done with the door for today. I will go ahead and make a plan for the bottom of this door. So we can put the tab on the floor and all that. Um, so uh, I'll do that plan today. Maybe I'll even do all the work today so that we can we can post. I can do the editing on this video and we'll go ahead and get it posted up. So, like I said, my job is to make it work. Her job is to make it pretty. So she's got it all sanded now. And she's going to do some wood filler. And then apply more paint. And then we'll hang it up and put that tab that goes in that track down there. And yeah, we'll call this one done.
Okay, folks, so it's day three of the sliding door. And the last video you saw, we were attaching that extra piece of wood at the bottom because the door's a little short. Um, I'm walking in here now to check on Rachel. She's getting ready to work away on it. She has to do some more sanding now that she's got all the wood putty and everything filled it in. Let's get you flipped around. So, as you can see, we got that extension on the bottom of the door because the doorway was a little bit taller than the, the door we were upcycling. So now she's going to sand it, paint it, and hopefully we can get it hung today. Here's that little tab that's going to hold the door straight. And it's going to ride right in this little groove that we put in the wood. So that'll screw to the floor and it'll keep the door all in line. So it works out on paper. We'll have to see how it works out in real life. So, but we're going to put you on a tripod and leave you be. And yeah, we'll come back when we're ready to hang this door. So the door sized up rather nicely. You can see there's a good amount of clearance on the bottom and all that. The last step is to mount that little tab right there, right there by where that red line is on the floor, if it'll focus. There we go. So we have to drill two holes 
throw some inserts in and bolt it down to the floor. Away we go. Okay, so it's in. The tab is on the floor. The track is set. And it is totally ready to come in. Slides like butter. Rolls good. What do you think, babe? Works perfect. So that wraps up this project. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It encourages us to keep making content. And until the next time, I'll be the same.